I'm really thrilled to be honoring our next legend um, of Off-Broadway because I'm so dazzled by what she's done in the last 24 years of work in the theater that when I think about it, I'm kind of dumb with admiration. But it turns out this is okay because I'm not going to have to speak to introduce our next honoree, uh, Kathleen Chalfont, who is a friend of hers and a legend herself, who we honored last year, uh, and who is, again, a legend you can see in Somewhere Fun at the Vineyard, where she has to be for a 7 o'clock curtain tonight, is going to introduce our next honoree, Kathleen. Um, it is a great pleasure and privilege to present this award to my friend and fellow stage mother and uh, fellow grandmother and visionary producer, Daryl Raw. <laughs> Daryl is indeed a legendary figure off-Broadway and has produced more than 30 plays there and built not one but two theaters. 10% of the plays she has produced have won Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> and that's just the off-Broadway project. It's instructive to look at those three Pulitzer Prizes. They give you some insight into Daryl as a producer. The first was for Three Tall Women, a play by a great American playwright who seemed to be in decline at just that moment. And this production and Daryl's support of it marked the beginning of a whole second astounding flowering for Edward Albee. The second was for How I Learned to Drive, a difficult, disturbing play written by an important American playwright just at the beginning of her great success, Paula Vogel. And the third was for Wit, a huge play that was to be the only produced play by its brilliant author, Margaret Edson. So, you see, Daryl doesn't have a formula for success other than the ability to spot excellence and support it to the hilt. I was in, um, I worked for her in yeah. WIT, and I can tell you that her support for the production and everyone in it and everyone who had anything to do with it from the first moment until the last second we spoke was um, unwavering. She's really something. And then I want to thank Daryl especially for a, a wonderful gift. Um, she gave my friend and her friend, Helen Stenborg, her final opportunity to dazzle the public by producing a play called Vigil, in a two-person play in which Helen appeared at the age of 84. So, back to the beginning. Thank you, Daryl, for all you've done and all you're going to keep doing. <laughs> amazing company tonight, people that I admire, people that I love, people that I've worked with. That makes it all the more special. And while I just had a very exciting experience on Broadway, I have to say that my heart has always been and will remain off-Broadway. I'm currently actually co-producing My Name is Ashrolet and Buyer and Seller, plug, plug, <laughs> <laughs> as any good producer would want to do, I'm sure. And after many years, Fritz Rupta is still flying high in our theater on 15th Street. Um, but I'm really very proud of our DR2 Kids series, which this year produced Benicula, which um, is a very special play and, and something that I know you all will be honoring. I feel happy to be part of that. The beauty of Broadway, uh, for me, has always been the fact that it's intimate and that you can be really upfront and personal with people on the stage and feel the experience and feel the, the joy and the emotion in a very extraordinary way. Uh, and that's been very appealing to me. Uh, 
new work needs to be welcomed in a place that's safe, and Off-Broadway has always been that. And good theater is good theater, in my view. It's not about geography. It's not about real estate. It's not about location. Good theater is good theater. And I hope to be part of this community that I adore for a long time, even though this legend concept <laughs> is a little bit off-putting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I'm getting on in here. <laughs> about legend. <laughs> in any way, I just want to say that um, I feel very welcome in this community. I, I actually, my first production uh, off Broadway was Closer Than Ever, which Richard Maltby is here somewhere, and I have to say, <laughs> if that doesn't feel like a full circle, I don't know what that is. But uh, that gave me my start. Richard actually believed that I could produce something and trusted me. That's all we need, really, is a little encouragement and a little bit of belief, and we can do great things. And uh, so I thank you, Richard, and I'm thrilled that, that the 25th anniversary um, production uh, is in this season, because this has been a glorious season for all of us. So I want to thank you, and, and just sort of let you know I'll be continuing to raise the off-Broadway flag very high for as many years as I can. Woo!